Hi everyone, I'm Louis Ori, a high performance computing engineer at Symbia, a subsidiary of the EDF Group. At Symbia, we focus on training, technical support, and project development for the open source codes created by EDF. In today's video, I'll guide you through the process of installing Salome Mecha on Windows using WSL. Since Salome Mecha depends on Codaster, the installation will include it automatically. We'll start by creating a WSL Ubuntu virtual machine, then install the Singularity software required to run Salome Mecha, and finally, I'll show you how to download and launch Salome Mecha. Let's get started. So first, we're going to start by installing WSL. Open the Windows Start menu and look for a PowerShell. Once you opened it, you have to type WSL dash dash install to launch by default a Ubuntu machine. It will ask for your username and password. Enter them and note them somewhere. Once this is done, we highly recommend to update and upgrade the APT library by doing the following command. We are now going to install Singularity, which is necessary in order to run Salome Mecha. In order to do so, we are going to have to launch a series of commands that are going to take a little bit of time. Here I'm doing a few cuts in the video, uh, so don't worry if it's longer for you. All of the commands that I used in this video can be found in the description. To work properly, Singularity requires to install Go, then it can be downloaded from the GitHub repository. Once everything is done, do Singularity version and check that you indeed have installed the 3.7.0 version of it. Finally, all there is left to do is to download Salome Mecha and install it. Go on to codaster.org, download, then Salome Mecha. You'll see the latest binary file of Salome Mecha. Do not click on it as it will open it up instead of downloading it. We are going to fix this issue as soon as possible. In the meantime, if you're having trouble, just right click it and then uh, press save as a link. Go into your explorer and then on the left, you should see the Linux logo. It will list all of the virtual machine you created with WSL. Look for the Ubuntu one we just created and go into the home folder. Place the .sif file you just downloaded there. You can also delete the go compress file now, it's not necessary anymore. Now launch a PowerShell and do wsl-d and the name of your machine, here it's Ubuntu, to open it. Go to the slash home then your username folder and you will find again the salome.sif file you just downloaded. Now to compile it, all there is left to do is to type singularity run dash dash app install then the name of the .sif file. It will automatically create an executable of the same name. Execute it by doing dot slash then salome mecha and the name of the .sif file and dash dash soft so it will launch even though you don't have an NVIDIA card. And there you have it, I have Salome Mecha installed and I can use it properly. Finally, once you're done using your virtual machine, you can simply type exit or control D to leave it. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe as we will upload many more videos in the future. And in the meantime, you can go on symbia.tech if you want to contact us and if you have any questions. Goodbye.